Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a uh, brief lesson, pretty much speaking on Jacob's trouble, okay, which is pretty much I'm carrying over from yesterday's conversation we were having at camp. You know, we were speaking on the coming tribulation, we were speaking on the chastisement of the Lord, and uh, pretty much there were precepts I had on deck that I didn't get the chance to come out. You know, but it's all through the spirit. You know, at camp, the spirit's moving. You know, things are happening. Things are happening um, uh, fast. You know, it's, it's the spirit's moving. So, with that being said, there were precepts I was I was holding that didn't get a chance to come out. You know, but through the spirit, I was meditating earlier today. You know, upon waking up, on what to get into, um, in efforts to uh, you know give the caps on my lips, okay, which is a requirement as a servant of the Lord. You know, to our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, just meditating in the spirit, you know, on what to get into. Um, and the spirit immediately uh, brought to remembrance um, the fact that I had precepts yesterday at camp that didn't come out regarding this topic, which is a very important topic. Jacob's trouble is a very important topic and it's biblical. Okay, even though you have camps out there that will tell you that Jacob's trouble is gay, okay, we're already in Jacob's trouble. You know, and you got you got individuals that believe they're gonna be uh, raptured, okay, out of the, out of Jacob's trouble, okay, which is none of this is true, okay. The reality of this thing, and we're gonna show you through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the scriptures, man, that Jacob's trouble is is real, okay. And those of the elect are gonna be in a mess, okay, of this trouble, okay. In efforts to be uh, tried like gold, okay, in the furnace, man. And you have some elect that are going to actually, uh, you know, uh, give up the ghosts, okay, in the time of Jacob's trouble, uh, leading up, leading up to the uh, hour of temptation, you know, when the karag was offered, that grain of rice, pursuing the Revelations 13, 16, and you got elect that are going to have to fulfill uh, Revelations 20 and 4, you see, and, uh, but one thing is, one thing is for certain, is that none of the elect are going to take part in that second death, Okay, you can read about in Revelation 21, which is going to come in the form of those missiles, man, those ICBM missiles that are sitting in silos as I speak, okay, which are going to be shot, okay, across the globe, man, from one land to another, primarily right here in Mystery Babylon the Great, pursuing the biblical prophecy, okay, this is that lake of fire you can read about in Revelation chapter 19, Revelation chapter 20, and Revelation chapter 21. Okay, Mystery Babylon the Great, aka America, the land that sits on many waters, man. Okay, is going to be the land that you read about in those chapters regarding the Lake of Fire. Okay, this is going to be that Lake of Fire. Over 200 million warheads are going to hit this land, man. But prior to that, that's the that's the tribulation in, in its perfection. You see, but prior to that, okay, <laughs> there's going to be scourges, calamities, and plagues that are going to rest upon the planet. Okay, leading up to the coming of the Lord. Okay, there's a build up. Okay, to the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. It's a dramatic one at that. Okay, and Jacob's trouble is a part of it. Okay, so through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to start in the book of uh, Second Ezra, uh, chapter 16. Okay, because what it does is it gives you a. Uh, not only does it give you a chronological order uh, of the coming tribulation, uh, but it also uh, gives you the spiritual overtone uh, of the protection, okay, that the elect are going to receive in these times, okay, which is beautiful. Lord willing, we be part of that precious number. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, Salakia, and that's the spirit. One of the beloved brothers brought this chapter out uh, at camp yesterday, okay, and this is when he, he started around, uh, let me see here. The beloved brother started around, um, 
I believe he started in the second edge at 16. He started at around 71. But we're gonna start up. Is what we're gonna do, and we're gonna build. We're gonna build off of. Uh, we're gonna build off of this through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Okay. Again, shedding light on the idea of Jacob's trouble, and that is actually scriptural and prophecy is prophetic. Okay. This is hey, ain't nobody walking into the kingdom of heaven unscathed. Okay. I don't know what your pastor, your pork eating pastor, told you. Okay. But ain't nobody. Ain't there's not there's not one Israelite. Okay, that's gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven unscathed. Okay, and that's a promise, right? The book of Second Ezra, that says the Bible. The book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. And let's start at um. Let's start at verse uh, sixty-eight. Right, and it reads, "For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and that burning wrath, right, that." That great multitude, okay, that's kindled over. That's the UN troops, man. Okay, them UN troops, them boots are gonna hit the ground. Okay, and when they do, hey, <laughs> if you ain't right with the Lord, guess what? You're through. Okay, whatever you've been subscribing to is gonna have to save you, is gonna have to defend you in that time. Okay, don't expect divine intervention to be on your side pursuant to Isaiah 59, okay, in those times. If you haven't been doing what was required of you, okay, as an Israelite, man, you will not be, you will not be protected. You will not be defended. Okay? Let's continue on. And they shall take away certain of you, right? And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, right? Where are you gonna be idle at? Okay, you're gonna be idle in those, you're gonna be idle at those FEMA camps. Okay, where well you're going to be tried for 10 days. Okay, as it reads in Revelations, what's that, 3 and 10? Which 10 days goes into a pretty much a complete amount of time. It give or take, it could be more, it could be less. But you're going to be tried. Be, be, thou, be thou faithful until death. And, you shall, and thou shall receive a crown of life. Okay, this is a reality, man. That's why Yahweh Shai told us that in Revelations. Right, and that idol that you're going to be offered is what? That grain of rice, the karagma. Okay, you're going to either have a guillotine or a grain of rice they put inside you and you bow down to that idolatrous image. Okay, all you got to do is look up the word Mark. Okay, in Revelations 13, 16 in the blue letter, G5480. And what you're going to find out is that it's an idolatrous image. Okay, that device, the size of a grain of rice. Okay, that they're going to put in your hand or in your forehead pursuant to the biblical uh, prophecy. Okay, let's continue on. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in the, the reproach and trodden underfoot. Right, you Jake that consent, okay, to receive this thing, you're gonna be held in, you're gonna be you're gonna be had in derision, you're gonna be a laughing stock, dude. Why? Because ultimately you're gonna die with a device in your hand. You're gonna starve out with this device in your hand. You're gonna get devoured by teeth of wild beasts with a device in your hand, man. You're gonna get sick, you're gonna catch the big C pursuant to Revelations. Uh, what's that 14? No 16 Revelation 16 and 4. I believe right around there <laughs> You see hey, you're gonna lose you even though you consent you're gonna lose That's why scripture says never trust thine enemy man Never trust thine enemy and that hasn't changed. He's the same wicked nigga yesterday and today He's never changed as a matter of fact. He's actually even more wicked Okay, because scriptures tell and Daniel scripture tells you that knowledge shall increase. Okay? Technology has increased, right? This is how this man's able to do it. Science, knowledge, right? Medicine. See, this man's able to do things he wasn't able to do back in the 19th, uh, 18th, late 1800s. So I get for the noise. But I'm, at, I'm, on, I'm on like a beachfront. But needless to say, um, this damn demon is not able, he, he wasn't able to do what he can do now back in the late 1800s. What he can do now, hey, it's bigger than the Gatling gun. This man has direct energy weapons, man. Hey, you seen what happened to Maui? Anyway, let's continue. Well, let's stick to the point, right? But do you jake that, uh, that consent unto evil E, you're going to be a laughing stock at the end of the day, right? You're going to end up falling flat on your face. But let's continue on. Uh, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection. Upon who? Upon those 
that fear the Lord. Okay? And an insurrection goes into an uprising. You see? There's going to be an uprising upon those that fear the Lord. Why? <laughs> Let's go to 2 Timothy real quick. You see? That straight gate's real, man. This is why for a lot of you, Jake, that think there's no, there's no such thing as Jacob's trouble, you're going to get caught. Scripture tells you, 1 Thessalonians uh, 5 tells you how the Lord is going to come up, come like a thief in the night. For those of you that aren't really true, truthfully, truly prepared in the spirit and in the mind, okay, for what's coming. For you to think that you're going to be just tribul, uh, uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, what's the term they use? Raptured out of here. Okay, in the, in the time of uh, trouble. No, man, Matthew 24 tells you immediately after the tribulations. You see, Jake Jake was on the scene. Elect, the elect are going to be on the scene. You see, let's continue on. Let's get this real quick in 2 Timothy. What did I want? Uh, 2 Timothy, um, what was it, 2? Let me see, see, let me see, let me see. What was it, 3? 2 Timothy 3, 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Right, and it reads, the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 12, and it reads, Yeah, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, shall suffer persecution. You see, when you when you join yourself with your power and true and this true veracity in the form of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and you 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 proclaim, okay, in the open that you're an Israelite, you just wage war against evil E. Okay, because this is contrary to his um, uh, wayward philosophies, man, regarding these scriptures. Okay, this is totally contrary to what he's talking about. Okay, his universal doctrine. Okay, this is this is a reality, man. You have to look at and see in the history of what happened to the uh, previous believers, man. Look at the seven Hebrew boys. Going, you got to go into this, man, and see what's and see how. Hey, see, I see this this thing is real, man. But there's there's great glory at the end of it. You see, that's the beauty of it all. There's glory, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, we, 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 we got the, you know, persecution and glory. You see what I mean? The glory overweighs the persecution. See, that's why this is worth fighting for. Let's read this again. Second Timothy two uh, three and twelve. Yeah, and all that will live go godly in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. She'll suffer persecution. When you live godly, what do you do? You live righteously. Okay? You try to keep the laws to the best of your ability. Okay? You walk in the light. You walk in the spirit. Okay? And that's contrary to this world. Because if you're doing that, you're going to have a lot to say. Okay? About the evil. Okay? That gets projected out in this world real time. Okay? Which is going to make you an enemy to the world. Like it was the, the same deal. It was the same deal for Yahweh Shai. When you go to John 7, let me get another quick precept. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, now the spirit's moving. Let's get this real quick. The book of St. John, chapter 7, right? In verse 7, and it reads, The world cannot hate you because me it hated before. And this is this is this is red, this is red letter. Okay? But the book of St. John, chapter 7, and verse 7, and it reads, The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. Because why, Lord? Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Okay? And who's ruling the world right now? We quoted it earlier, right? Second Ezra 6 and 9. Esau. Esau is the end of the world. You see that we're at the end of it, we're at the end of time right now regarding Esau's world, his eon. See? So it only makes sense that he's ruling. <laughs> You see, and when you go into that word Esau, it goes uh, um, it goes into uh, uh, Isashua, okay? The way, well, he's wasted away. Wasted away is he. Why? Because he had no melanin. All right, this is just an identifier. I say that to say this. That's an identifier for us to know, okay, who Esau is. Edom, his land, him and his name and his land, they're one and the same. It tells you that in uh, Genesis 36, Esau is Edom. When you go into that word Edom, okay, it goes into... Uh, uh, Adawam, right, which goes into what? Red, crimson. You see? Why? Because his blood shows forth. Why? Because he lacks melanin. 
he gets mad, his blood comes forth. He's in the sun too long, his blood comes forth. You see, he gets happy, he starts laughing too hard, his blood comes forth. This is the identified. This is how we know who Esau Edom is. You see, this is how we know. This is why he identifies them in Genesis 25 and 25. Okay, this is how you link this thing together. This is how we know Esau Edom is who we say he is, which is the so-called white man. Okay? The chief house of Edom being Amalek, the international banking families ruling the world as I speak. Okay? Let's go back into the book of uh, 2nd Ezra. Uh, let's stick to the point. 2nd Ezra 16, right? Continuing on. Right, so there's going to be a great insurrection or uprising against those that what? Fear the Lord, man. Okay, why? Because we're walking in the spirit. We're walking in the light. We're contrary to this world. Okay? We're not under the vibration of this world. We, we're, we're not in the matrix. Okay? This is actually a glitch in the matrix what has happened. Which proves that the Holy Spirit is real as well. This proves it because the Holy Spirit pulled the okie doke on Esau. This proves that the Holy Spirit is real. Because he did everything in his power to keep the truth from us and we still got it. We're using the same book, okay, that he tried to uh, <laughs> bamboozle us with. Check this out. 2nd Ezra 16 and 71. And it reads, they shall be like madmen sparing sparing none. Who? Evil E in the form of them UN troops, man. Right? But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You see that? This man's gonna come in with great wrath, man. Like Revelations 12 and 12 can precept off of this. You see, they're gonna come in like madmen, sparing none. And there's how this nigga gets down. And we, we, we know this because uh, uh, the pursuant to the curses, the Lord said he'll send a nation against us of a fierce countenance that would not regard the old or the young. As a matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Instead of uh, quoting, let's just grab it. That Revelation is 12 and 12. Even a while since I brought this out. The book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12, and it reads, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. This is talking about the elect, starting with the men of the Lord. Okay? And those of you that uh, believe the report, Isaiah 53. You see? Who has believed that report? And who has the arm of the Lord stretched out to? Re roughly paraphrasing. You see? Woe to them. Destruction to them. Right? Destruction to the inhabitants of the earth. Okay? The rest of the people. Two-thirds of Jake, the heathen. And of the sea. Right? And remember, the sea is like an unto, unto people. Pursuant to Revelation. I want to say that's Revelation 17. For the devil, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Devil goes into deceiver, slanderer, false accuser. This is this man. Okay? Psalms 50 tells you that uh, he slandered his own mother's son, which is us, Jacob. Okay, he makes false accusations against us. He lies. Okay, that's Esau. Esau is the spiritual. He's Esau is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, this man is the devil. This is why we say that. This is why we say we link Esau to being the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, because he he fits the criteria of a devil. Okay, he is the devil. <laughs> okay. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. You see that? You see how this links with that second entry of 16 and 71? They're going to come down like madmen, sparing none, the wrath of evil E. Why, though? This is why, though. Because he knoweth he hath but a short time. This is the third time I'm going to quote second entry of 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world. He knows his time's taken because he knows why. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. He knows that he's on a time limit. He knows these things. You see? The regular Joe six packs don't know. Okay? But the one percenters do. Okay, let's continue on in second Andrew, and we do too. You see? The hopeful elect know. Why? Because the scriptures tell us, man. This is how we understand all things through the Holy Spirit. See, the Lord revealed the truth to us, man. Continuing on in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and uh, verse 71 again. They shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You see that, that insurrection? Right? For they, see the, 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 those that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are the number one target. Pursuing to what? Another precept that just came to mind. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I'm going to just go get it. It's all through the spirit. I got time. 
You see, just to make the point to prove, yo, Jacob's trouble is real, man. Hey, you got tribulation to look forward to, Jake. <laughs> you ain't gonna just hop scotch and uh, tap dance with a lollipop in your mouth into the kingdom. No, man. <laughs> you see? You, you and your family's lives are on the line, man. This is why it will behoove you to turn to the Lord so that divine intervention can take place for you when the time of trouble happens, man. Abarath is that we're part of that precious number that get delivered out. And again, even if we get, even if we have to play the certain role of a mortar, the Lord can put a heavy spirit on you. He can, he can literally uh, cut off your nerve endings. You see? The Lord is, the, hey, anything is possible with, with Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. This is why, um, in the, in the, in with the, pursuing to those Hebrew boys, but then the mom say, the mom said, uh, fear not this tormentor. I remember her telling him, telling them that, fear not this tormentor, man. You know? Let's continue, let's get this real quick. I want to make this point. Revelations 12 and 17, and it reads, and the dragon, okay, was wroth with the woman. Who is the dragon? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Now serpent that was in the garden that beguiled Eve has manifested into a bloodthirsty, fire-breathing dragon, okay? In the form of his NATO and the EU, his revived Roman Empire, okay? Western Rome, Western Rome fell, okay? This is that, this is that head, that wounded head that was healed. You see? Seven, the seven heads and ten horns. You see? Um, Babylon the Great, it's, 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 it's the eighth, but it's of the seventh. You see? America. This is that dragon in the form of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man who, who runs the show. He runs the show right now, man. Let's continue on. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and the woman being Israel. Okay? Jeremiah tells you that the Lord likened uh, Jerusalem unto a delicate and comely woman. Okay? This is talking about Jake, specifically the elect. And went to make war right here. This proves it. With the remnant, the remainder, the leftover of her seed. When you go into that word seed, what's it going to? Sperm. All right, proving that this thing's about a bloodline, just giving credence to that. Okay, you gotta be an Israelite through the flesh, man. Romans 9 tells you that. Which keep the commandments of Yahweh, you see? Going right back full circle to that second Ezra 16. Okay, that insurrection is gonna come upon those that fear the Lord. Here we are, here we have it, right? Which keep the commandments, you see, <laughs> of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And have the testimony, the report, okay, of Yahweh Shai Mashayak. Okay? This is who they're targeting. This is their main target. The hopeful elect. The elect. But we say hopeful elect because we hope to be part of that precious number. But their target, their main target is the elect. Which they're fighting, uh, uh, they, 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 it's like the boxing, they're boxing against the wind. Okay? Because nothing's going to, you ain't touching the elect. <laughs> that's a guarantee that's why we hope and pray to be part of the elect and again even if you do get your hands on the elect the Lord can do miraculous things with your body with the scenario you're in uh, he can make things happen and move things around the Lord's in full control this is his movie he's the director we cannot forget that let's go back to 2nd Ezra 16 and continue reading okay let's continue reading at 2nd uh, uh, Ezra 16 in verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See that? Scripture says we're going to be like pilgrims on the earth. I believe that's in this same chapter. Uh, it could be in chapter 15. But let me see. It might be in this chapter. Uh, I remember it being about 30. Let me see. Let me see. Here it goes. It's 40. Let's just get this real quick. In the same chapter. It's right here. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16. And verse 40. Oh my people. Hear my word. Okay. Hear my word. What word? The scriptures man. Who speaks? Who's speaking? Who the Lord speaking through? His servants the prophets man. Amos 3 and 7. Hosea 12. Hebrews 1. See. Oh my people. Hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. And in those evils, okay, evil going into bad times, Eve times, ill, I'm so like, yeah, Eve times, ill, bad, evil, okay? In those evils, 
Hey, Ezekiel 7 and 7, evil and only evil, right? Be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Pilgrims go from one place to another, man. They just passing through. This is how we're gonna be moving. This is the mindset and mentality we're gonna have in these days. Okay, well, in those days, man, the time of Jacob's trouble. Let's continue on in, in uh, verse 73. Then shall they be known, second, second Ezra 16 and 73, then shall they be known who are my chosen. See, it's all about the elect. And they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. Okay, and that chosen is who? The elect of Jacob. Matter of fact, quick precept. The book of Jeremiah. Thirty and seven, and it reads, "At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The chosen, just read it in Second Ezra sixteen, the chosen of Jacob are going to be saved out of it, man. Okay, and this be this falls hand in hand with Daniel twelve. Okay, it's going to be a day like no other. Let's go get that real quick. Precept must be upon precept, line must be upon line." Here a little, there a little. This is how you break down the scriptures, okay? This is how you do it. This is how we know our elders and apostles of Great Millstone are the men that the Lord sent, okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashah, we know those are the pastors according to his heart, okay? And we're gonna hold fast, man. We're gonna hold fast to our leadership, understanding that the Lord's dealing, man, okay? Scripture tells you to, um, Mark the perfect man. You see? Perfect in what? In the spirit. Obviously not physically wearing these chains of darkness. Scripture says, mark the perfect man. The end of that man is peace, man. Okay? So we know who our, who our um, leaders are, man. And for those of you out there that you know think you can bypass the leaders, you see what I mean? Go straight to the source. Okay? In the form of you being able to conjure up the understanding all on your own. You know, yeah, we move through the spirit. Don't get it twisted. You see? The Spirit, the Holy Spirit is dealing with us individually, yes. But ultimately, there's an order, okay, that Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai has. He always dealt with order. Okay, look at the, look at the time of, for example, look at the time of Moses. Okay, look at the time of Moses. That was the order he set up. Moses, Aaron, and so on and so forth. Those that always came up against Mo Moses, what happened? Look at Dathan and then. <laughs> I, you go read about it. Y'all know, though, most of you. For you, for you, I salak here. For you, Aki, I'm an Aqua that uh, have been around for a little bit. But for you people that are just joining in, okay, you've been dragging your feet. Or oh, it's all through the spirit. You know, the Lord is gonna call whom He's gonna call at their time. You know, so I'll, I'll, I'll retract my previous statement. You know, for you, you know, uh, for the, for you of the whole full elect. Let me correct myself, salak here. For you of the whole full elect, you know, that are coming in now in this hour, right, the final hour. Hey, guess what? <laughs> this is what it is. You see? Yahweh. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is all business. You see? He's all business and he sets up things in order. You know, he, he doesn't do anything out of order. That's why uh, Corinthians tells you that. Let all things be done decently and in order. That's how the Lord works. You see? So we have to keep that mindset and operate in order. But stick it to the point. Daniel's 12, and it matters. You know, Daniel 12 and 1, and it reads, and at that time, because it's like, and let me also say it matters because rebellion, you can fall into the category of being rebellious if you don't move in order. And we know pursuant to first, uh, was that first Samuel 15? Rebellion is like an unto witchcraft, see? And we know we're not supposed to suffer a witch to live. So you can get into trouble being rebellious. You see, trying to, trying to bypass leadership that the Lord set up are not respected, are not respect the leadership, they can get you caught up. Daniel 12 and 1, back to the point, and at that time, speaking of uh, Jacob's trouble, and at that time, shall Michael stand up? Who's Michael? The archangel, okay? The angel that uh, literally is coming right, right hand of Yahweh shot, okay? He wants smoke and nothing but smoke and only smoke. He's not coming to shake hands, he's not coming to talk, he's not coming to uh, 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 call the truce, he's not coming to uh, 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 hear your side of the story. Michael's coming to move things out the way. That's what Michael's coming to do. 
And we hope that he moves things out of the way for us being the way of the elect. Right, let's continue on. Let's get ready to close this out, right? And, that, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such never was since there was a nation even at the same t at that same time what time of trouble jacob's trouble we're reading about it jeremiah 30 just told you about it at last that day is great it is even the time of jacob's trouble <laughs> you see we there this is real even at the same even to the same to that same time and at that time my people should be delivered you see, so deliverance, Jacob's trouble and deliverance go hand in hand. This is why we need it to happen. We need tribulation to come. We were speaking about that at camp as well. Everyone that shall be found written, and let me read that again. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. What book? The book of life. The elect have been ordained since the foundation of the world, pursuant to the book of Ephesians. Okay, we hope and pray that we're part of that precious number. Let's continue on. And look, let's continue on in 2nd Andrews. I lost my spot, forgive me. 2nd Andrews 16, let's continue on. Let's get ready to close this out. Right, 2nd Andrews 16, continue on in verse 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved. Who is the beloved? The house of David, the house of Dawadah, the elect. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is your guide. The guide of who? And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Power. See that? That's the point. So much for the laws and for so much for the laws being done away with. <laughs> it looks like here, if, if, if we got this precept right, it looks like those that are walking in the spirit to the best of their ability, rehearsing these righteous acts are gonna be the ones that are actually gonna be being guided. You see? Let not your sins weigh you down. Why? Because we're going to go off from time to time. Scripture says to offend less in Sirach 17. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves, man. You see? Strive for the truth until death, man. And the Lord shall fight for thee. You see? And that's the point. Aki am and I can keep going. You know, we can keep going. You know, I can grab that wisdom. We can grab that wisdom of Solomon. Uh, what was it? Wisdom of Solomon. Matter of fact, let's close out there. Let's all through this prayer. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, real quick. Let's start from the top and read down. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the of the, are in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yasha. Who are the righteous? The elect. Lord willing with part of that precious number. Okay, what makes you righteous? Believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's continue on. And there shall no torment touch them. Like I was saying earlier, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can cut off your nerve endings, man. But you don't feel no pain if you're falling into the condition of being tormented. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. They seem to die. And their departure is taken for misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. See? For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of what? Immortality, man. This is what we got to look forward to, man. As a nation, we have this to look forward to. You see, immortality. This is part of the second cup, the second covenant, which we're not in already. Okay, for those of you out there that think you are in it, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. You see that? I was going into that earlier. The glory overweighs the the, the persecution, the chastisement. For Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai proved them, we must be proved. And found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And we're going to leave it right there, Akiyam and Akwaf. Hey, Jacob's trouble is real, man. Okay, so hey, for those of you out there that think it's not, hey, you got a lot to look forward to. And it ain't going to look too good for you. Because you're going to be visited by a cruel messenger pursuing the Proverbs 17. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt pursuing to, uh, what's that second? Is that uh, second Ezra um, 9? Going into uh, the same show, know it. After death by pain. Hey, repent, Jake. 
If you know what's good for you, you will repent. But hey, this ain't for everybody, man. You know, you 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 know, two thirds or two thirds, they're gonna do their thing. Everyone gonna play their role. But hey, us men of the Lord, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we're gonna get the blood off of our hands, man, to the best of our ability. Abba Rathaza, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Shalom, beloved Akiyam and Akwaf. Shalom, 